Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, what I want to talk to you guys about out there in the viewerverse. I want to talk to you about my channel. And uh, what's something you probably noticed is my Patreon banners disappeared up here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's broken, Kurt. I tried doing it. I'm going to have to email Kurt. Yeah, he, he's the one that does all the wizardry for that. But it's broken, did it? It won't let me do it. It comes up with error messages. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about solely. <laughs> but it is something. That's why it's gone. It's not gone because I, I, yeah, it's gone for technical difficulties. Anyways, why I'm here is to talk about a post I put on the Tinterweb that's probably got people going, what's going on with the captain? What's going on with Mr. Steve? Well, I figured I'd do a little video, a cup of tea with Captain Steve video, on exactly what's going on. So let's jump on over to the Tinterweb of things. chick pow pow chick boom boom There I am, Tinterweb open, people. Righto, so I put this post out there. A June overview of the channel. Okay, the older videos being watched are my Elden Ring videos. Many people are watching but not subscribing. Channel growth wise is sitting still. I'm seeing the subscribers fluctuate. So I might gain 10 one day and then lose 11 the next, then gain 12, then lose 10. And it's just, it's going up and then down, up and then down. And it's just not sort of like, you know, the constant up, which I've seen this happen before. It happens in lulls of No Man's Sky. And it happens when I'm like, hmm, where shall I take my channel for direction? And I just want to talk about direction a little bit. Because although I'm seeing Elden Ring is bringing me some people back in, you know, they're not hitting subscribe. They're just watching the video. They're moving on. You know, they're just there for a help video. Now, subscribers don't really matter to content creators. It's more the actual views that videos and the channels get in. And I can say that that's still fairly healthy. That's still good. I get to the actual images of all these stats and things in a bit and talk through them. But anyway, I'm enjoying playing No Man's Sky because we're doing this in-game event called Like No Fire. We're playing No Man's Sky like it could be Like No Fire. And we've called it Like No Sky. That's a bit of a hybrid. Myself, Cynical and Ricey are doing that. And we're looking to move now to season three soon. And we're going to include Ghost Light. And then when we hit to season four, we might include another content creator that's been with us for all the seasons. So that's moving along quite nicely. And it's still bringing in some views, but it's a bit of a niche. There's like a certain amount of the community that's interested in that. And the rest just want to play No Man's Sky because that's the game they bought. Not this weird hybrid that we're doing. But it's just a thing. It's just a thing to keep things ticking over until an update actually appears. And that's what I'm moving on to down here. I've also got the No Man's Sky meetup in real life taking place very soon. End of August, the August bank holiday. I've got a lot of 3D printing to still do for that. I've got a lot of arrangements to do for that. A lot of coordination. So that's taken up a lot of my time as well. So July, I don't think is going to be a very busy month for No Man's Sky. Honestly think it's going to just be the expedition running its course. That expedition comes to an end fairly soon-ish. It's going to be like perhaps another two weeks is what it's saying that's indicating. I, I'll have to reach out to good old Kurt about that you know, Patreon banner. But also I might ask him when the expedition date is and when it finalises and ends. Um, and then I'll do a news video on that. But yeah, so we've got that all happening too. So we've got the light no sky coming to an end in the next like week or so. I mean, we enter into PvP this weekend. Uh, then we've got the expedition ending a week later than that. Then I think the Quicksilver items are going to run its course. Then I think we might see a No Man's Sky update either late July, early August time. So this little breather that I've got in July, although that I'm having a little breather when it comes to content... I'm still going to be keeping you informed with all of those things. Anything happens on those fronts, I'm going to drop a video. What I'm saying inside of this message, inside of this sort of like little bit that I put out on the old community tab, is I'm not probably going to be sticking to a schedule. I'm not going to be so regimented in July. I'm also building my PC. Once I've got my PC built, that's just the start of it. I've then got to get the operating system on there, the games on there. I've got to test them. I've got to get it all wired in. I've got to get it ready to stream. I'm going to have to do a few test streams, all that sort of stuff. I'm hoping to do during July. 
And I'm still going to put that content out there of the build, of my actual, you know, gripes of getting it all set up. I'll put that together as a vlog or something. There will still be content. What I'm saying is I might not be sticking to bang on doing a live on a Monday, bang on doing a live on a Tuesday. And it's going to be this and it's going to be that. I'm still going to hold open those two slots, the Monday and the Tuesday. But I might be putting live a premiere video and it might be a holistic video of what I've been up to because... There might be so much to do and put into one video that it's just not going to fit in one video. It might be better as a collaboration. It might be better as an hour long special. And it's just a weekly update in July of what the fudge is going on. Because what I'm what I'm what got going on in my life right now, I can't schedule it. It just happens when it happens and it happens when I've got time. I mean, you probably know I already have like a, a full time job, a full time job. And it's not the easiest of jobs. And I've just been given staff. Yes, I'm now a proper manager. Yes. Guess where my staff are? Yeah. I'm in England. They're in India. So <laughs> I might have to fly out there maybe once or twice a year to go and see them. So that's that's going to be interesting. And I hope to do vlogs while I'm over there, perhaps. I don't know. I've already ever been to Tenerife and Spain and the Philippines. I've only been on three holidays abroad in my whole entire life. So this is a whole new avenue for me, people. So, yeah, work and family always comes first. And this, although that I love doing YouTube, it, it doesn't pay a full wage. It pays for itself as a hobby and then gives me a little bit of cash in my pocket. But it's still nowhere near a wage. Some people think, oh, he's got 40,000 subscribers. He must be minted. I bet he's got a Lamborghini on his freaking driveway. No, <laughs> really? No, no. Uh, that stuff doesn't happen until you get millions of subscribers. And even then, I bet that it still fluctuates on what they get and what they don't. Because it's all to do with CPMs and algorithms and weirdness and things that YouTube tweaks and say, right, now we're giving all this money to shorts. Yes. And it's coming out of your pocket. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah. So there's all of that to contend with. Anyway, let's uh, let's scroll on down a little bit further because you see exactly why I'm doing this. So I did 49 videos in the space of June. That's a lot of videos included. And also on top of that, 14 live streams. So what's that? 53 videos and then a few posts. I didn't do any shorts last month. Ah, but that's a lot of content. That's, you know, let's just make it simple maths. Let's say I did 55, right? I, I know I didn't. I've done more than that, but let's just say 55. Actually, yeah, let's just, let's say 60. 60. We do, we've done 60 videos, 60 videos in June, all right? And I've got 73% of these are new people and only 27 are returning. So this is my fan base, I would imagine, unless some of you have been unsubscribed. Check yourself, still subscribed, because I, I have heard a lot of people are being unsubscribed still. So that's that's quite an interesting statistic. But a lot of these people that are new, I think are coming back for the Elden Ring content, things like that. And this is my hardcore fan base for No Man's Sky. You know, a lot of people that are playing No Man's Sky probably aren't right now. They've probably done everything they need to do in No Man's Sky and slowly moving on to other games or taking a look at other games during this quiet spell. You know, I know a lot of you are. I'm the same. OK, so moving over to the next one here, you got this. Uh, it's uh, oh, why is, why is that not? Can I zoom out a little bit more? That should be full screen. Dang it. Yeah, YouTube can be a bit weird and how it displays images uh, that, that that shouldn't be cut off anyway but anyway you can see here that a lot of people are coming back for the videos that were published over six months ago hardly anybody's coming back to watch what i did in may because not much happened in may for no man's sky apart from the expedition and uh, yeah and then published in june 59 percent. so people are hopefully i'm hoping are watching things like this the cup of teas with captain steve me trying to branch out and do something new with the channel and a lot of those people might be new to your channel, just haven't hit subscribe for whatever reason. It's probably because they're seeing a little bit of everything and I'm a little bit all over the place at the moment. I haven't set a permanent direction. Because, you know, No Man's Sky is supposed to be a big year for No Man's Sky and fingers crossed it will be. And hopefully a big update will come. No Man's Sky content will lift. My channel will lift and, you know, I can carry on as normal. But it's these sort of lows that makes me think how much life is left in a 10 year old game how much longer can i entertain people fully just with no man's sky i need to find another thing and i'm hoping light no light no fire drops it's another hello games game 
and hopefully it's going to carry and it's going to carry my channel maybe for another 10 years great super growth lovely but we don't know the future so it's a case of well what else do i enjoy doing what else do i enjoy sharing with the actual masses well hopefully you like the same sort of stuff i like you know it's a sci-fi game so you might like star wars you might like some of the things and shows that i like on tv like vikings valhalla that i'm watching at the moment freaking awesome yeah, i can't believe I, I i love vikings the normal vikings but vikings valhalla is pretty good not as good as the original vikings but it's good but anyway i'll do a video on that at some point yeah and also the shogun that was great but anyway anyway going off on tangents let's stick to this so the last image inside of here again isn't showing in freaking full screen <laughs> why it works on my mobile phone right, i'm back again then uh, let's uh, let's see if i can get that to work right, well this, oh, i could do it on my blinking mobile phone this is still through the youtube thing so i don't know why it doesn't work on blinking laptop but there you go you can see there that even youtube is saying now's a good time for you to experiment with things captain of the steves yeah because at the moment you're getting views from your old videos so why not have a little bit of a play take some risks now so i'm taking youtube's advice and i'm doing exactly that people so i'm having a little bit of a play around i'm trying to branch out and bring you interesting stuff i found online things from movies tv shows streaming services other youtube channels that i like and i watch and hopefully you would like them too so a little bit of that and I've been doing them in Captain Steve cup of tea videos or shows videos. And I'm going to continue doing those. Whenever there's a quiet period in No Man's Sky, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to do speculation videos for No Man's Sky, obviously. But yeah, it's more about entertainment because I'm here to entertain. That's why I got into this in the first place. And No Man's Sky was the thing that was entertaining me the most when I got into this. And it still is. So hopefully people hopefully that's that's that sort of floats your boat hopefully you're going to be sticking around and sticking with me and what i would like to ask is any of those cup of teas with captain steve videos that you've really enjoyed please share on show for social media stick it on instagram or on facebook or reddit or whatever social circles you're in rumble telegram wherever i don't really mind just share it out there and hopefully it brings some more eye peepers to this channel and hopefully we can give it a little bit of a lift hopefully a few people do tickle that subscribe button i know myself that i watch a lot of channels that i'm not actually subscribed to i like to subscribe to channels that i know that when their video comes up i'm gonna be like oh great let's uh, sit down have a cup of tea and let's watch this now i do watch a lot of videos and youtube is very good at suggesting the videos that i want to watch so now i feel less obliged to hit the subscribe button even though it's a singular click but when you're watching it on a smart tv to actually subscribe to a channel you've got to get in the remote you've got to press up you've got to go across you've got to hit the channel go to the channel then hit subscribe they don't make it easy do they and a big portion of my viewers and more and more i'm noticing are watching me on the big screen probably because this is in 4k and it looks lovely on a big screen it looks fantastic on a mobile but sitting on a sofa with a cup of tea and some bickies yeah that's you right now <laughs> i know you've got to reach for your remote control but show me some love hit those things that i just mentioned hit that subscribe wait i didn't hit a like but anyways i know i don't do it myself yeah if i just heard me saying that i'm having my biscuit thank you no i'm not pressing nothing <laughs> So, I know how hard it is, but at both sides, yeah, well, you know, it, it's it's fun. As long as I put a smile on your face, hit a like or something, or let me know in the comments. I haven't subscribed, but I do watch you regularly. Something like that. It lift my mood. But anyways, that's everything that I've got for you, really, about my channel and my direction. I'm not going anywhere. The content you might see a little bit of a decline in July when it comes to what I'm outputting in, in quantity. But I'm hoping that I can match it in quality or at least put out bigger, larger videos that gives you an idea of what's going on with me. What's going on with my channel? What's going on with the PC build? What's going on with the meetup? What am I doing 3D printing wise? It's not all going to be No Man's Sky is what I'm saying. However, No Man's Sky is not going anywhere, and it's still going to be the main bread and butter of this channel. I love No Man's Sky. Yeah, I've got a freaking display right there. No Man's Sky. I've got 3D printed models all over the place. Collector's items. I love No Man's Sky. It's the best game ever, apart from maybe Joust on the Atari 2600, which used to have me and my brothers run into the toilet trying not to wet ourselves. <laughs> it's a brilliant game on the Atari 2600.
fucking awesome. But anyway, people, I'm going to drink the rest of my tea and get on with the rest of my day. And trust me, it's a busy day. I've got things 3D printing in the garage right now. I'm making a video, a vlog video on my phone as we speak in a roundabout way. Oh, yeah, I've got six hours before I have to go down and check on the printer. But yeah, it's a, it's a new PLA, gold, it's shiny. It looks great by Overture. Video coming soon on that. So, you know, there's things happening. Things are happening all the time on this channel. Don't you worry. I'm not going anywhere. Ah. <laughs> oh, God, I'm freaking insane. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain Steve. Captain, Captain Steve. Thanks all his new members and backers. Thank you, Sir Ominous Gaunt. Thank you, Rob Roll. Thank you, B Turtle. Thank you, 1975 Adam. Thank you, Stephen Jardine. Thank you, Bow Chaser. Thank you, Mike UK. If you can back my channel through membership or Patreon, then keep my channel going on.